Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi Nube. Uh, I'm here to respond to questions from ZEP applicants who are trying to move over to the mainstream South African permits as directed by the Department of Home Affairs through a number of statements. Uh, I have a number of questions here. Uh, there is about six of them, but they border around several other questions that have been asked by people facing almost similar challenges. And this is what I'm going to respond to. Uh, but before I go ahead, may I request you to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and to share it. The first question is, uh, for a domestic worker, where do I get proper motivational letter? What should employer write? So this applies to everyone who is doing what are called low skill jobs. Uh, these are general worker jobs. Uh, where does one get a, a motivational letter? And for those whose employers want to write those letters for uh, what should be written on that particular letter uh, first and foremost let me state it clearly that we know and the department of home affairs knows that most people who are on the zimbabwe exemption permit got to be there based on their lack of qualifications based on their lack uh, of any other skill and based on that they were given what are called special dispensation permits which the ZEP falls under and we are hoping that because the minister is on a number of occasions pleaded with people to apply maybe there is something that they are working out because they are making these clarion calls with the knowledge that most people on the ZEP cannot qualify but we have seen even the minister accusing people who are not qualifying of having listened to bad advice and he has been saying that people are reluctant to apply so this is uh, our hope it is our hope that maybe there is something that is being worked out we are not giving any hope uh, to people based on any internal information that we have because we don't have any internal information. But this is based on the signs that the minister has been giving. He believes that those who are not qualifying even with the knowledge that many people don't qualify are not doing so because they don't qualify but are doing so because they are based, they, they are following bad advice so this then uh, gives us one piece of advice that maybe something is being worked out and people need to qualify if they don't qualify and they are all rejected then more negotiations will need to be uh, carried out because we believe that it is not advisable and south african government itself knows that it's not advisable to delegitimize or to criminalize the migration status of more than a hundred and seventy thousand people when the government is already sitting on millions of people who are not documented and this and documented status of these people makes them fly under the radar and minimizes and limits their participation in the South African economy. The second uh, question is, for those who are doing general work, what permit should they apply for? Uh, the permit based on your status or relationship status with anyone who might have citizenship of South Africa, a permanent residence permit of South Africa or any other uh, relations, then the permit that you can apply for, which seems to be the lowest hanging fruit, although the qualification criteria is very steep, 
and high is the general work permit. This is what you can apply for based on the qualifications that you have, of course. Uh, the other question is, where can one get a proper motivational letter? Uh, depending on whether your employer is willing or not to motivate for you, you can write your own motivational letter giving reasons why you need to remain in South Africa, documented in South Africa, and why you need to be moved from the ZEP, which is expiring on the 30th uh, of June next year as per the grace period extended. These are the reasons that you need to state then that I've been here for such such an, a long time. Uh, I don't qualify for any other permit, but I've been living here legally for the past 12 years under the ZEP, depending on how long you've lived under the special dispensation permit, of course. Uh, I've been living under the special dispensation permit from the DZP to the ZSP up to the ZEP, which has expired. But it is my plea and request that I be moved from the ZEP, which is expiring, to this kind of permit that I'm applying for, although I know that I don't qualify, but it is my uh, plea that the government considers my situation because I've been a law abiding citi citizen and I still need to continue living here in South Africa under a, a documentation regime that may allow, then you send it there. We are not saying that this is going to be approved, but it is the only hope that you have because the days are, are running short and the, the time is fast uh, lapsing. Uh, the next question is, without critical skills, uh, which permit can you apply for? Again, this process is not for only those with critical skills. If you do have critical skills, then you can apply for the critical skills waiver. If you have those critical skills but do not meet the qualification criteria with the experience that you have, you can also apply for a waiver. If you do have some qualifications but they don't meet uh, the minimum requirements given uh, on the Department of Home Affairs critical skills um, list, you can again apply for a waiver based on the qualification or the experience that you have. If you are not on the critical skills category, but you do have other, um, uh, other qualifications for any other permit, you can apply for that permit. Uh, if you have relations uh, here in South Africa who are citizens of South Africa of, or have uh, been naturalized or have permanent residence permit, you can also piggyback on them and apply depending on whether the relationship holds water and is part of the relationship that is covered under the Immigration Act. Uh, the other one is uh, when you are applying there are sections where you are asked for a reference number. Where do I get it? Uh, I'm not quite certain because this person has not clearly stated where they were required to provide a, a reference number. But there are sections, especially when you are applying for a permit, where you are asked if you have ever applied for any other permit here or TRV here, and then you are asked for a uh, for a reference number. You you say yes i have applied and then you give the reference numbers that you have uh, been obtaining that is for the dzp for the zsp and for the zep and then you state that the particular trv that you applied for was under the zimbabwe special permit or the zep uh, this one is from somebody who has a business and is here under a business permit under the ZEP, but doesn't have the required 5 million rents uh, minimum, uh, which is needed, minimum capital. This is where, again, you apply for a, for a waiver uh, of this 5 million rents requirement to be put aside so that you can apply for a business permit. But you have to motivate, again, what your business does, uh, why you don't meet that kind of criteria, and you have to make sure that you have the CK number and that your business meets all the other um, the other uh, criteria that is the is called the compliance needs the compliance needs that is 
it's re it duly registered. Uh, it also pays the South African Revenue Services all its dues, uh, and it's, it does everything as per the requirements for one to have a business permit or for one to run a business. Then you can apply that, the 5 million rand threshold be set aside, you apply for a waiver. Then somebody is asking, which is, which is the last question, what exactly is needed for one to apply? Uh, the requirements differ, so I would advise you to be specific on what exactly you want. But if you are applying for a, a general work visa, you need to have what is called a, a labor certificate from the Department of Labor. You also have to need. You, need, you also need to have uh, the requirements for that particular permit. Uh, it may be South African Qualifications Authority accreditation based on the qualifications that you have, or uh, the critical skills uh, category, you need to have uh, what is called a membership of a, a professional body. So it varies on what type of permit you need, but you can look that up uh, on the Department of Home Affairs website, www.dha.gov.za www.dha.gov.za www.dha.gov which is gov.za then you can check there what the requirements are but if you still do not uh, understand we would uh, ask you to be very specific about what it is exactly that you want us to assist you with and we'll do our best to seek advice where we cannot get it but we've uh, asked some of the questions that many people are raising and we're in a position to then respond to them so this is what we had i hope we have responded to all the questions that we had but we if we haven't please Ask the, ask the specific questions that you have using the comment section underneath this video and we will respond to you. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel, to like this video and to share it. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.